Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be covering few more important sums from IT section 5th standard scholarship. See students, I have already uploaded 4 videos. This is my 5th video. So in case you have not seen my earlier videos, please see them. It will definitely help you to clear some of your concepts. Okay, I am giving you the link in the description box. Please check it. Okay. See student first sum will appear on your screen. Vijay Rao took 52 days leave from his office since December 20th. On which date will he join the office again? Here you are supposed to read the sum properly. Whether they are asking the date on which he will join the office or they are asking the last day of the leave, what it is. From which day is he going on leave? All these things matter a lot because that will decide whether you are going to get the correct answer or no. See, he started his leave from 20th December. December 20th se chutti pe hai for 52 days. So after this 52 days from 20th December, on 53rd day he will join office again. Right? So we need to find out the 53rd day. So let's do it. December, how many days he was on leave? From 20. Means up to 19 he was not on leave. So out of 31, 19 days gone. So answer is 12. Right? And uh, January, entire month probably. Because 52 days is a big number. So 31 days. So, 43 days are over. Still, few days of leave are remaining. How many are remaining? 52 minus 43, 9 days. So, February up to 9. Holiday will be there. So, when will he join? Obviously, 10th of February, he will join office. So, our answer is 10th of February. Very, very easy. Okay, next sum will appear on your screen. Ashish's age after 10 years is 3 times his age before 10 years. What will be his age after 5 years? Here we don't know what is the age of Ashish, right? Ashish, let's take it as X. So, after 10 years, how many years old he will be? X plus 10. And before 10 years, how many years old he would have been? X minus 10. Right? Now go back to this sum and find out what is the relation of these two. They are saying age after 10 years it is 3 times his age before 10 years. Okay. 10 years is 3 times his age before 10 years. This is translation of English into mathematical language. Okay. His 10 years after 10 years ka age 3 times hai before 10 years ki is. See. Okay. So I have written it like this. So solve it. 3x minus 30. Please be careful with the signs. x I am bringing it here. So minus x. So 3x minus x is 2x. And this 30 I am bringing it here. So plus 10 plus 30. So 40. Therefore x is equal to 40 upon 2. That is 20 years. So that is his present age. Present age which we have taken it as x. Right. So that is his. Today he is 20 years old. Please don't take 20 as the correct option. Because that is not the answer which they are expecting us to to give. They are asking what is his age after 5 years. So 20 plus 5 25 years is the answer. If you choose this, even though everything is correct, you will lose 2 marks. Don't do that silly mistake. Always keep an eye on the final question. So 25 years is the answer. Isn't it easy? Chalo aage badte hai. Next sum will appear on your screen. Swara and younger Aradhya's age differ by 6 years. Their mother is 30 years older than Aradhya. 
What is the difference in Swara and Mother's age? Students, there is Aradhya, Swara and Mother. They are saying Aradhya is younger than Swara by 6 years. Okay? So if Aradhya is X, Swara must be X plus 6. And Mother is 30 years older to Aradhya. Because they are saying, yeah, Mother is older than Aradhya by 30 years. So she must be 30, X plus 30. Now they want us to find out the difference between mother and swara. Let's do it. Mother ka kitna hai? X plus 30 minus X plus 6 swara. Do it. Minus X minus 6. Minus X plus X gone. So plus 30 minus 6. So answer is 24 years. Very very easy. We have just assumed Aradhya is X. We found out these two and we what they have asked we have written here. Difference between mother and swara. So easy. We found out the value 24. So difference between swara and mother is 24 years. Let's go ahead. How many times the minute hand crosses the hour hand from 12.30 to 10.30? Students, here please be careful with the time given. It's from 12.30 to 10.30 and not from 10.30 to 12.30. Okay. So see, as far as actual cross cut time is concerned, there is a different topic altogether to find out the actual time. At which time or what time our hand and minute hand cross each other. But at 5th standard level, you are not expected to go into that much detail. So you can just observe whatever I am giving you right now. See, you can say that 12.30 to 10.30, right? So you can just say they cross at this. 1.5 to 10, 15, 425, 525, 630, 735, 840, 945, 1050 won't come because 1030 tak hi right? You can remember this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 5 into 1 here, 5 into 2 here, 5 into 3 here. That way you can remember. So how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 times. Actually they do not pass exactly at 1, 5. I again repeat. For 8th standard we have a different topic for this altogether. Okay. But for you at 5th standard you can roughly believe this and go ahead. Okay. So our answer is 9 times. Okay. Next sum will appear on your screen. Find the term which matches with the term in the given group. 347-5813-6410 And question mark. See they have given this group and from the option we need to find out which one can replace this question mark. See I told you observation plays a very very important role here. Whenever there are big big 3 digit, 4 digit numbers you have to break them. 99% you have to break them. So how to break them and where to break the numbers that is intelligence test. Observe for that what will help you is the observation. 3, 4, 7. Immediately you will know 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Here it is 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So we are breaking numbers like this. Right? 6, 4 and 10. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So from the option, we must choose such an option which will first number and second will add up to the third. So our option is 4, 7, 11. We have to break like this. 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. So easy. So our option is option number 2. 4, 7, 1, 1. Chalo, aage padte hai. The sum will appear on your screen. In a code, 213 is equal to 33, 618 is equal to 78, 724 is equal to 98. How will you write 908 in the code? 
213 is equal to 33 then 618 is equal to 78 and 724 is equal to 98. Here again you need to observe the numbers from 213 how they have got 33 they must have cut this number into small small numbers how see observe 2 plus 1 first and the second number that is giving me 3 and second and third 1 into 3 that is also giving me 3 so that is how I can get 33 I should apply this if this is okay with this number also and this number also then we can be happy about it okay so 6 plus 1 yes 7 I am getting 1 into 8 8 I am getting so yes here again 7 plus 2 9 yes 2 into 4 8 yes this is the way they are doing it so they want us to find out 908 once you find out this finding out a code for this is not a big thing at all so 9 plus 0 is 9 here and 0 into 8 is 0 here so our answer is 90 isn't it interesting coding very very interesting topic ok let's go ahead see students next sum I have written on the board since this series is given and they are telling us to find out what will come in place of question mark observe the numbers here again I always tell you you need to observe the numbers properly and what can be done after observation you have to apply different logics whether they are prime numbers, whether they are cube numbers, whether they are square numbers, whether they are multiple of each other and so on. Divisibility. So for that you need to know different types of numbers. Students, in case you have not yet seen my videos on types of numbers, I would suggest please see them. Because you are supposed to know what are, what are composite, what do you mean by composite number, co-prime number, twin prime number and so on. Okay, that might help you at the time of examination. Okay, see, students who know the prime number, they will immediately know they are prime numbers. 3, 5, 7, 5, 11, 17, they are all prime numbers. They are written in the form of fraction, they may not be fraction. So, first think as if they are not fraction, because this is not maths, this is IT, right? So, they have just written in that style. So, observe what numbers are there in the numerator. 3, 5, 7, 11. So, they are consecutive prime numbers. So obviously 11 ke baad wala abhi aega. That is 13. That is for sure. Now let's go to the denominator. 5. 5 ke baad aata hai 7 which they have skipped. 7 ke baad aata hai 11. So which they have taken. After 11, 13 they have not taken. 13 ke baad aata hai 17 they have taken. Means one alternate they have taken. So 17 ke baad aata hai 19 which they have not taken. 19 ke baad aata hai 23 which they have taken. So now you have to continue in the same way. It is a series, right? So 20, after 23 comes 29 which we should not take. 29 ke baad aata hai 31. So we must take this. So our answer is this. 13 upon 31. Option number 2. Very, very interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead. Students, I have written the next sum on the board. They have given this series again. And they are telling us to find out which number will come in place of question mark. Observe the numbers properly. Numbers are gradually increasing, correct? But the difference between them is not following any rhythm. Okay? Then what is to be done? I have told you, I have taken this type of sum earlier as well. This is an example of alternate series. Means... 4 is not related to 5, it is related to 8, it is like this, 8 is related to 12, then you will know how the numbers are moving, now, we are, now 5 is related to 10, 10 is related to 15, 15 is related to 20, immediately you will know this is plus 5 plus 5 and this one is plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, like that. Now as far as this question mark is concerned, this is a part of this series, 4 wala. So, we need to find out 20 plus 4. 
24 is the answer, first option. Okay, so do, students waste lot of time finding out the relation of 4 and 5, then 5 and 8 and they don't realize how the uh, numbers are moving because the difference between them do not follow any particular method. Okay, so in that case you must try out this alternate series like this, 8 chodke 8. Okay, that could be the answer. Then once you find out this is the example of alternate series, finding out the final answer is not a big thing at all. Okay. Students, as far as important questions are concerned, I can just go on. Because there are so many new concepts, so many new things to learn from each and every sum. Okay. Of course, I will come with the next video of important questions because there are so many concepts. They should be clear. Okay. Students, if you enjoy my videos, then please share them with more and more students. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you have not done it so far. And if you like my videos, don't forget to like them as well. Okay. Comment them. I like to read your comments. Okay. I will come with the next video very, very soon. Till then, study well. And very important thing is, yes. Enjoy studying. Bye.